Hey everyone, just thought I'd come back for a little whip and chat, or whatever you want to call it. Drill with me, work alongside me, whatever you want. Grab your stuff, sit yourself down. I've made myself a nice cup of tea in my old faithful mug. And guess what? The dog wants to go out. Go and pull the door then. Your brother's just come home from school. The teacher's not in for the last lesson of sixth form. Sorry about the shake of the table, that's the dog. Isn't it? You say I'm going to film and you guarantee the phone rings, the door goes, the dog barking, the cat scratting. But it's family life. So how's everybody's week going? Hmm? Is it all going alright? Yeah, mine's not too bad. Not brilliant, but not too bad. So I can't grumble. We're still breathing. So what more could we ask for? I'm just going to load my pens up. I'm still doing my snowman. I'll show you a picture of it now. Just putting that on here. For anybody that hasn't seen it. Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing that one. In it, coat. It's 30 by 40. I think it was home fun. Seven pound ish. Give or take. So yeah, I know it's a snowman. He's eating hot chocolate or drinking hot chocolate with his birdie. All wrapped up for the winter. And seeing as it's going to be nearly the 1st of December on Sat Sunday. So people excited. Christmas tree's going up. Kids have told their dad they've got to go up in the attic and get the Christmas tree. So... They reminded him again last night. Well, they reminded him every night this week that he's going to be going up to get it. So I don't think they're going to allow him to forget. But I must admit, I like it. Our Christmas tree is absolutely splattered with baubles of every shape, size, colour you can think of. Because any time we go anywhere and we see a Christmas bauble, we tend to buy one to say that we've got it from. So every bauble that's on our tree has a meaning of where we bought it from, whether it was a fate or a school project or something the kids have made or we've been off somewhere. So it is multicoloured. I'm not one for having everything look the same because that would drive me insane. Because then if anything was out of place, I'd go do lolly. So I've gone for a theme, a mismatch theme and it works so I'm quite pleased with that so I need to tidy the box where the Christmas tree goes on because that's got files and books and a bit of a dumping ground the box is it's like a big huge I don't know about four foot by four foot box now is it that big yeah it probably is about that big actually it's huge that's in the corner of my front room and everything gets put on top of that so that will be cleared and then the Christmas tree We'll sit on top of that because we'd have nowhere else to put it because there's just no room in our front room because it's so small and also we put, used to put it up there one so the cats couldn't knock it over although they still went and sat in it well the one did not the bipolar one the other one she sometimes goes and tries and sits in it or under it but it looks quite nice up on there just fits it does on the top of the you put the star on the We've got a star. We did have an angel, but poor old angel's wings fell apart. She was so old, so the kids wanted to put a star on there. So the star, just the tip of the star top, touches the top of the ceiling. So it just fits in there nice. Our biggest thing is the lights, isn't it? You pray every year when you plug them in before you put them on the tree that they work. How many people have put them on the tree? <laughs> hey! Then decorated, plugged it in and then like, oh no, it don't work. Yeah, I think we've all done that in our rookie years. Putting the trims up now, I get it all out, check it all first before it goes on the tree. And no matter how tidy I put it out, you know, put it away, it always comes out back out tangled for some reason. So, it all, so we stretch out down the little hallway we've got until it's all untangled. And I've got some little mice that sit in some um, little uh, Santa stockings, you know, the red and white ones that my mum made. They sit in that and they dangle. I think there's six of them. 
they dangle from the mantelpiece so I shall be putting them up because I absolutely love them that's nice oh, I was talking to my mum it's her birthday today so she'll be popping in later they've gone off to see my sister at home so I'm hoping that she remembers that it is her birthday it was my dad's last week and she didn't remember that it was his birthday and of course when he got cards and things off me she got a little bit upset that she hadn't remembered I mean we told her it was alright and it's no big deal but she did so bless her she went upstairs and found whatever she found some old I don't know some after save or something dad hadn't used and rewrapped it and gave it to him so he graciously accepted it bless him so I'm hoping so I've got to, it's hard to know what to buy her now because um, she doesn't want for anything and she's very, she's always been a fussy woman anyway, what she likes. She can't have certain, per, most perfumes she can't because she's had a reaction to them. She only likes certain smelling stuff, and certain brands and the, the one that she likes is Lily of the Valley. I can't remember the manufacturer. But all I could get hold of this year was a bar of soap and that was over £10 just for a bar of soap. So usually I try and get a bubble bath and stuff like that out of it but couldn't couldn't get hold of it this year. So I've got her, she likes candles and I know she's low on candles so I bought her a diffuser one and a big candle that has a lid as well. So I said that she can have in her bedroom. Bipolar cats just jumped on the table. Yes, what do you want? Thought you were sleeping up in Josh's room. Has he come home and disturbed your peace, has he? Did you want the bed to yourself? Why are you going to sit on the chair then? No, I don't want you to come over here because your paws will stick to the canvas, won't they? And then I show you. Oh, are you going to run away? Oh. There she is, look. And yeah, is it pretty? Is it pretty girl, Molly? You are a pretty girl, aren't you? Sorry if that made you seasick. I do apologise. I think I got that near enough somewhere near. Hey? That's it, I'm rubbing in the cardboard now. Because I'm trying to keep this um, lazy arm in its box keep it tidy and then I can pop it up out the way then if it stays in its box but you like the box don't you especially if it's on the table you might notice my bag of chockies as well I got that out I had a couple of chockies didn't we we had two chockies didn't we earlier yeah thought we'd give them a try I do like them sea salt and almond was nice as and the caramel one was nice as well so my dove ones have now disappeared because every time i come down so i put them on top of my fridge and um the bag just kept going down and down and down but mr nobody's had them like i think uh three little kiddies might have been <laughs> helping themselves to the odd one here and the odd one there they went down there the treat they did so thank you again Therese and Teddy for all the chockies they have gone down the tree Grant was saying I, he tried one of them last night and he said why can't bloody UK make chocolate like this he said I said I know I said probably good job they don't because I said we'd have it in the house all the time I said well as it is I very rarely buy chocolate because I don't like I only like dark chocolate Girls have it now and again, but Jessie's not a big lover of chocolate. She'll have a bit now and again. <clears throat> Millie's the one, Millie would. She's the skinniest, but she could eat as much chocolate and sweets as she, she wants and crisps and cakes and she's into all that and biscuits. She doesn't put it on, she just loses it. Seems to be the more she eats, the more she loses. But Jessie unfortunately follows me. She's only going to sniff it and she'll put £10 on. She said, why have I got your jeans and Millie's got her dad's jeans? I said, I don't know. It's just the way it is. I said, I didn't have my dad's. I had my mum's jeans. So I said, a short and fat is what I've become. 
I'm afraid. Now what else has been happening? Oh, Joshua took his driving test, his practical, this week. <coughs> Excuse me for the cough. Um, when did he take it? What day are we today? Thursday. Oh, happy Thanksgiving everybody as well who's watching today. And if you're watching another day, I hope you had another a nice Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, that one's got a tag on it. Um, Tuesday. Tuesday at 20 past 10. This is uh, well, 24 minutes past that to be precise. Why it's 24 minutes past, I don't know. Um, so he had a drive, got picked up at quarter to nine by his driving instructor. So, I mean, the practical test is £62 in itself. And then you have to pay for a driving lesson before. And then you have to pay for the use of the car in the test. So that was £54. So I was thinking, what was that? I'd already paid £62, so what's that? £110, £112 just to take your test. Um, and fair play to the boy. He passed with flying colours. I think he had two minors. And the instru um, in, not instructor, the test person even said, you know, and they were very, very minor. He said he was being a bit picky. Um, I think he took a corner very, very, not as tight as he could have. So slightly wider than he needed to be or something. And I can't remember what the other one was. The other one was something silly. So he's now passed his test. So he come home quite pleased. Little bugger comes through the door and he said, oh, I failed, mum, I failed. And then he burst into tears. Oh, oh God, Josh was saying. And then he produces the bloody certificate. Little bugger. So uh, he was happy, he went off to school, real happy. And then I think a uh, realisation hit him then that now he can't drive because he's passed his test because we can't afford to insure him to drive our car. And we can't definitely can't afford to buy him a car and get his own insurance. So he's stuck. So I think our insurance jumps up from, at the moment, I think it's 35 for them as a learner. Where before he was a learner, I think it was like £20 a month to insure me and Grant on my car. Then we insured him as a learner and it went up to 35 Um, If we insure him now as somebody that's passed his test, a month it goes up to a hundred the cheapest I've found I think is 114 a month yeah if he was on his own car <coughs> if he was in his own car I think it shoots up to about 300 pound a month yeah so unfortunately he won't be driving for a while so I said to him, you need to find a job. I'm looking, I'm looking. I said, well, you can't be fussy. He said, any job's better than no job. I said, I mean, he really wants to work behind the bar because he started doing bar work at 16 or where he used to work because you can do it if somebody's supervising you. And he loved serving and he loved making the cocktails and all that. Well, he's 18 now in... January, so we'd be able to start looking for bar work then. Um, but I said, you need to find something in between. But it's up to him, it's you know, whether he wants to do it or not. I said, I can't make you. I said, so it's you're the one that will be missing out on the driving. So then, of course, by yesterday, I was feeling awful because he didn't you know, pass his test and then you come home and said he'd got two B's in his two RE essays for his A levels. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got tickly throat, very sorry. So I was so proud of him because he's got severe dyslexia, he finds it very, very hard academic stuff. To get two B's is an incredible achievement. So I said, oh, I'll tell you what, I said, I'll buy you a couple of Xbox games that have come out. I knew it'd come out that he wanted. So I said, do you want one of them? 
I said as a congratulation prize sort of thing. I mean, that was 50 quid. So it's absolutely skint now, as they say. But it was worth it. He said, oh, mum. He said, can I? I said, yeah. And I said to say, well done. I'm proud of what you've achieved with your driving. I said, because that wasn't easy for you. He said, you've worked hard on it. I said, you're work working hard in school. So I got him his game. So he's one happy chappy. I'll keep an eye on the time as well because he's got the hospital appointment this afternoon. So, yeah. So I've got one past his test. I am quite relieved in another way that he can't go out and drive because I'll be petrified when he does go out driving. I'm, I mean, I worry enough now that when he's in one of his mate's cars, you hear sirens and I'm thinking, oh, my God. Because you don't know where they are. Or... Before that, it was out on their push bike, so you knew, <laughs> knew they weren't going to go far. But now they're in the car, they go all over the place. And his mates have all got um, part-time jobs as well, so they've got money to put fuel in the car. So they go off to like Aberystwyth and Newtown and Hereford and up the beacons to see the there's a place where you can park and watch the night manoeuvres from the army and the, the RAF and stuff. So they very often go up there and I'm never content until he's home, safe behind my door and in his room. But hey ho. I said another, well, Millie's going to be 15 now on the 21st of December. So I said it'll be another two years and she'll be driving. Oh, mind you, she might not want to. So, sorry, that was my phone message, I think. I don't know we're off. So that was that. What else? Oh, let me think. Millie's still got white pus on her tonsils. She's got no temperature, though. Sore throat's coming and going. Um, I had a look last night. She still had some white white uh, spots on her tonsils. She said they're a bit sore, but she's got no temperature whatsoever. Um, but she's still getting her nosebleeds. She had another one here last night. And I need you one again. So she's got the doctors again next week. We've changed her doctors. So I'm going to say to her about that as well. As I said, it's not natural just to have all these nosebleeds. And she's so thin getting as well, even though she's eating. But she's just terribly, terribly thin. So that worries me. And she's gone very pale looking and her cheeks are now sunken in. You know what I mean when they get like the their eyeballs start to sink in and their cheeks sink in. She's all right, fine, I'm fine. Stop fussing. I said, that's the mum's job is to fuss and worry over you kids. But yeah, so she told me that for Christmas, I know she wanted all the art supplies. But um, since she went to high school, um, for Christmas, I always said they could, because they always liked a bit of my perfume when they were little. So when they went to high school, I said for Christmas, their first Christmas, that they could have proper perfume, as I call it. So whatever perfume they like, within reason, um, they could have for Christmas. Well, last year, Jessie liked um, Jimmy Shoe Bloomin. Um, so she had a small bottle of that. Millie liked, um, what did she have last year, Millie? Oh, Millions. She had Millions. So this year, Jessie, because she's that bit older, would like Boot. Burberry, is it Burberry? Burberry her. I want to say Blueberry. She keeps having to go at me because I keep saying, oh, Blueberry, it's not Blueberry, Mum. It's Burberry. I said, yeah, but it reminds me of, I don't know. I said, Burberry, Blueberry, you know. No, Mum, they're not the same. It's Burberry. I don't want the intense. I just want the her. Okay, and I don't want the she. I want the her. Okay, okay. And Millie wants, yeah, Millie wants Jador. That's your door, is it? Yeah. Okay. I said, so I'm looking out. So I'm hoping tomorrow there'll be some sales on it. But I have noticed in Debenhams, they're having, um, instead of having the sale, you don't pay any VAT, any tax or anything on it, which I've never known before. Um, so I've just been on the website now because it started today. 
so both of them have been reduced by about 12 15 pound each they're only going to have a small bottle but i have got a debenhams card as well so i can put it on my debenhams card so i can pay for that monthly so that would be a really big help and josh wants he either wants men's millions um or diesel but he said hang fire on what you get me mum because i want to go to i think they're going off somewhere next couple of weekends so he wants to go in Debenhams and have a look at some other ones. He said so he's not quite sure which one he wants. And then Grant said what do I want? Now I usually have Victor Rolf um, Flower Bomb, which I absolutely love, but it is expensive. But, you know, that's the only thing I ever asked for. But because Jessie had this Jimmy Shoe... Um, Blossom. I smelt that. Oh, and I really, really like it. Really, really like it. So I said to Grant, don't get me the the Victor Rolf one. Get me a big bottle of the the Blossom one, the fifty m m uh, ml one or something like that, instead of a thirty ml of that one. I said it'll be cheaper than the Victor Rolf one. And I said, and I really do like it. He said, are you sure? And I said, yeah. I said, I really, really like it. You know when you wear something and it gives you a lift? It's that type of perfume. Because I do like um, Chanel's, like number five and number nine. Love smelling that on other people. But you put it on me and it smells like cat pee. It's awful. My skin just does not like it. Does not like it at all. I mean, I know I can put it on my clothes, but it's not quite the same, is it? I like to have it in smell your skin and you'll smell all nice and and whatever so yeah so they were out the window but I do like my perfumes and I might oh that's the other thing Millie had last year was JLo Live because that was cheap and cheerful for an everyday one and um, I never really smelt it before and she was wearing it in was it Tuesday Monday Tuesday I said, oh, you smell nice. What have you got? She said, oh, I've got that cheap J-Lo Live. Do you want some? I said, yeah, it gives a squirt. And do you know what? It lasted all day and it's just a pleasant smell. Quite, um, that's a quite an uplifting smell as well to it. Fresh and, yeah, it was really nice. I was quite surprised. But it made a change for me nicking <laughs> some of the girls' perfume instead of them nicking mine. I do like as well, which I did have last year, as well as a Victor Rolf. I was spoiled last year. I had a small bottle of Dior, Dior Absolutely Blooming. And I love the smell of that. But that's so expensive. Dior's so expensive, isn't it? But I did have a small bottle of that, so I wear that sparingly. You know, if I'm going somewhere. I shouldn't go anywhere, really, but usually if I got to my sister-in-law's for, for, for lunch or something, we meet up. Then I'll wear it then, or you know, I don't wear it just every day, but I'd like to say wait and wear it to go out for meals and for the pictures and stuff like that, but I don't do any of that. <laughs> so it's usually if it's visiting my sister in law or my mother in law, and I'll put a bit of that on. Does anybody else do that? Got perfume they keep for. You know, only wear now and again, and then an everyday perfume. I don't know, is perfume expensive in America? I don't know. I know it is over here. So I suppose it's how much you spray on yourself to how long it lasts, isn't it, as well? I say squirt on each wrist, squirt bottom of your neck, and maybe, maybe an extra squirt on your clothes. And I mean, Josh, when he puts his on, he can smell like a bloody, you know what, fool. Oh. He does tend to spray a lot on. Well, he's been through two bottles of big diesel this year, plus his dad's diesel. Big bottle, I think it was 50 mil millions he's been through. 100 mil of Hugo, 50 mil of Hugo. You know, the diesel, what was the diesel? Was that 70 or 80 mil bottles? I can't remember, they were fairly big. Plus a, plus a 40 mil one or 50 mil, whichever it was. 
yeah Joshka does go through but it's nice to see that he likes to smell nice because he could he could be the other way he didn't care how he smelled do you know what I mean he could be even though his bedroom still stinks what is it about boys bedrooms you know he has a shower twice a day he always puts deodorant on he always puts you know a bit of aftershave on or whatever but his bedroom still stinks male top test don't test just to you know the word that one apparently it's something to do with that i did look it up because i was getting getting thinking something was you know buried in there or something and apparently not it's whatever they produce when they're teenagers and as their body changes they produce this aroma on their stuff it's so great That's a laugh at Grant. Oh, he's a bugger he is. You know, I've got a wash basket that's outside the bathroom door for everybody to put the dirty clothes in that want washing. Because I have refused now. If it's on their bedroom floors, it will stay there now. They're all old enough now to pick them up, put them in the wash basket. But guess who's the biggest mm -hmm. culprit? Yep, Grant. Takes them off by the dresser, and that's where they can stay occasionally. Now, if he does put them in the wash basket, right... I think, oh, great. But I go to pick his trousers up. Still got the belt on. Who does he think is going to take the belt off? Does he think it miraculously comes off and then goes back up on his new date ready for him to... Mm. So this week I've refused every day that he's... He's done it three times now. Chucked his work trousers in the wash with the belt on. So I've just left it there. So in the morning he's scatting around looking for a belt. I said, well, where did you take it off when you took your dirty clothes off? He just looks at me, grins and walks off. I said, I, because your wife's always been too soft, takes it off, sorts through it. And I thought, oh, I'm not doing it anymore. But I will. If I put it in the wash, I will take the belt off. And I will put it up there ready for him to do the next day. Because I'm a softy. But yeah, they all think that the fairy comes along and picks it all off the floor and takes it downstairs, miraculously washes it, dries it, irons it if it needs it. I don't iron if you don't need it anymore. Um, and puts it away. I used to iron everything, and I mean everything. But I don't anymore. I only iron if it needs ironing. Because I do not like ironing. Well, I don't like ironing, and I don't like putting it away. Bad enough putting it away after the dryer. Right, we'll do one more letter because it's only going to be a quickie today because I've got to take Joshua to the hospital and I've got to pick Millie up because now the weather's getting colder. She wants some, she's got long sleeved jumpers at the moment. What letter is that? Oh, 3340. So she's got short sleeve at the moment, shirts. So she wants some long sleeve sh shirts. So I said, we'll go down after school. I'll take Josh to the hospital. You, sometimes he will walk home. Well, he'll walk to his mates. or walk home. So if he doesn't want me to wait around. That's one thing about him being old enough now. He goes in on his own. You don't want mum there. Um, only if I've got signed forms or anything. And I'll pick the girls up then. I thought we'll go straight down then and sort the shirts out but i don't know whether jessie would have one because she'd walk around in bloody shorts and t-shirts even in this weather if you'd let her she comes home very often she'll just change straight into shorts and t-shirts everybody else has got you know the heating's on maybe have a a thin long sleeve jumper on you know or a t-shirt and a cardigan not jess i said to her, i don't know mind you i can't say anything i used to be like that at her age my mum said you'd go out in the winter in t-shirt and trousers and wellies. Wouldn't think nothing of it. Now I have to be wrapped right up. I hate being cold now. I really hate it. I think as you get older it goes right to your bones though, doesn't it? Not seems to be a lot more painful the more older you get and you get cold. They think I've got mild Raynards in my hands because they go one of the tips of my fingers go like blue they don't go white because i didn't say anything about it for a long time because i thought reynard's only you know you have to go white but apparently they don't you can have a mild form where they go blue and it's only my fingers and my toes that it happens to 
and I could be in the house and everybody has been be warm and my fingers will be the end of my fingers from sort of there down will be blue and I'll go to touch the girls and they go oh my god mum you like, like icebox what you been doing I said nothing I was holding a cup of tea the other day and I just wouldn't warm up at all I was gripping the cup of tea you know you do like that put your hand around like that I was like that it just didn't make any difference But hey -o. so I'm going to also, I think tomorrow, because Grant's got a craft fair on Saturday, which is going to be outside from two to late at night, so that's going to be a coldie. So I'm going to buy a load more. I've got sun gloves, but why is it, it's like socks in it, you always end up with one sock. Well, I went in the glove, I've got like a glove little basket at the bottom of my stairs to put all gloves, hats, scarves, whatever in there. So I went in there the other day, I thought, right, I'll start sorting out, getting them ready for Saturday, and the girls now going to school have some. Well, I find loads of just one glove, but to find, I think I found one set. No, I like two sets. One was burgundy and one was white um, of gloves. So I said I'm going to have to go probably tomorrow to Bargain Buys and get a load of uh, gloves. And the girls have got some hats. But I look like a right clown with a hat on, woolly hat on, honest to God. Look like something's wrong with me. I really do. But I don't think I'll care on Saturday if it's going to be cold. So I might just get myself one anyway. Grant's got a couple here. I found his. I'm going to take the dog. I've got her jumper ready and her raincoat in case it rains. Yes, she has. She's got a bright pink hoodie that she wears when it's cold and she's got a little raincoat, tartan raincoat for when it rains. Because she's on the call. Yeah, she's on the call. So she needs to have it to keep her nice and cutched up. Only baby girl. So, yeah, so that's the plan for the rest of the week. So I've got a couple of colouring books coming in and I've ordered some diamond paintings. No, I tell a lie, I ordered I told you I ordered two from AliExpress and I've ordered one from Star Or to watch this space because I very kindly had a donation to my channel. So I ordered two books. I um, went on a I'm into recycling things at the moment doing my bit I suppose and there's a site world world of books and they have um recycled books so say somebody's read it and they don't want to read it they they got there but coloring books they have coloring books so they might somebody might have colored one or two pages but the rest of the book there's nothing wrong with it so I thought well I'll give it a girl give it a girl give it a go because you save a lot of money because I'm not bothered because I just color for me so that's what I've done so I, I've got it today and I looked at it and I think there's part of two pages I think that she's partly coloured in but the rest of the book is fine absolutely fine so I might do show you that that one and I've got another one coming in of that and then I'll show you as well the notebook that I did so I'll probably do the star or I don't know how long that takes for delivery that was really reasonable. I can't believe how cheap their um, postage and packaging was. It's only a couple of quid. Really impressed. Really impressed. So I'm looking forward to that. Getting that. So yes, yeah, so I've got a few things in the pipeline. Thanks to some, well, two lovely ladies put a little bit into my um, PayPal and I, for my channel, they said, and I will forever be grateful. I didn't know there were such nice people out there that there is. I've been very lucky. Um, so, yeah, so I was able to buy a few things for the channel. So, yeah, so I better go because I've got to go and take this. That time's gone. Okay? So sorry, it's only a shorty. Shorty, but a nicey. Oh, so. What was I going to say then? Oh, my mind. You know, when your mind just goes, whoop blank completely blank so thanks for 
for watching and listening to me prattle on. I might call this Natter Thursday. Because you know it's just me nattering on, innit? Um, if you like it, give it a thumbs down. Thumbs down if you like it. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. Either way, it's interacting, so I'll thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you haven't subscribed and you'd like to see more me getting more confused than ever, <laughs> ever with me words, press the old subscribe button. There's also a, a bell that will tell you when I go on live, which is on a Sunday. And I tell you what, though, we have some real good laughs on that Sunday live. Um, or when I put another video up, it'll let you know. But if you just want to chat, either comment down below. But my details are also down below. If you want to email me, Facebook, me, Instagram, whatever, you can. Because I love chatting. But I'll say bye-bye for now. Take care and look after yourselves.